Hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to set up a Linode server and serve your website on it. So let's start out by creating a Linode. I'm going to choose Debian 12, and I'll select a region that's close to me. I'll choose a Nanode on a shared CPU. I'll call this test, and you can call this whatever you want and we'll create a password and we'll go ahead and create the Linode let's go ahead and copy this IP address and I already have a domain I want to use for this so I'll go to my domain registrar I want to choose my domain and edit the DNS records. All you need is an A record. I'll delete the one I have and I'll create a new one by putting the answer here and setting the A record and you'll see it's pointing to my Linode IP address. I'm using a uh, a tutorial that I built myself and I'll link that in the description. So I'm using pogsalai.com that's test in Visaya. So the next thing I want to do is copy or well really just open up a terminal and SSH into pogsalai uh, or we'll say uh, root at pagsulai.com we'll type in yes and type in the root password that we just created oh let's try that again and we're in let's go back to our server setup tutorial let me clear the screen so you can kind of see it in the background here. We'll go ahead and run apt update. And me personally, I like to run the upgrade, but you don't have to. apt full upgrade dash y to answer all yes to all the prompts. Clear the screen. And let's create our new user user add dash m that will create a home directory and I'll just go ahead and name it my favorite uh, username then we'll do pssswd the same username and we'll put in the password twice then we'll give ourselves uh, pseudo permissions by typing user mod dash a dash g capital G pseudo permissions and the name of the user and then we'll reboot soon we'll be able to reconnect and continue from there we're going to log in as a privileged user and complete the basic setup uh, sometimes you have to change your shell to bash and I, uh, I prefer to check that so we'll do SSH clues at agsulai.com I can see it's not connecting so I'll hit control C to cancel and we'll try again in just a moment no connection, cancel and we'll try again Oops. and cancel and we'll just keep trying until it 
comes through. And there we go. Put in the password. And I can already see that my shell is not bash. Um, I'm going to change that. You can see that right in the background here. CHSH for change shell dash s slash user slash bin slash bash. Put in the password. And we'll exit. And then we'll reconnect. And now you can see we're using bash and we'll clear the screen. Let's go ahead and install some things we'll need. sudo apt install git ufw nginx software properties common and build essential and then the dash y put in our password and get those installed you don't need all these packages uh, at most you'll need ufw and nginx but i like to have these extra packages for future development Okay, let's clear the screen and then we'll go ahead and do uh, allow the SSH through our universal firewall sudo ufw allow SSH and then we'll enable the HTTP connections sudo ufw allow 80 those are your standard HTTP connections and then we'll enable our secure connections allow 443 and then we're going to enable our firewall sudo w enable and type y and hit enter let's clear the screen and continue so we already did this domain setup in advance so i'm not going to do that but one thing i want to do is disable the default nginx configuration should save us some issues in the future. sudo unlink etc nginx sites enabled default and let's go ahead and create a directory for our domain sudo make dir dash p or www.pagsulai.com Let's change ownership of that directory to ourselves. Dash r user colon user r www.pagsulai.com All right, now let's create a server configuration file. sudo no etc nginx sites available and pagsulai.com. And we'll go ahead and grab this configuration. We'll paste that in and we'll update our website name. In each of these lines. Control S to save, Control X to exit. And we'll open it again just to make sure and exit. Now we need to enable the site by creating a symbolic link to 
the site's enable directory. sudo symbolic link slash tc nginx sites available backslide.com slash etc nginx sites enabled. Now let's test it, sudo nginx-t, and we have a successful test. Scroll down, now let's go ahead and restart the nginx, sudo systemctl, restart nginx. Now, Let's secure a domain with an SSL certificate. First thing we're going to do is sudo apt install certbot python3 dash certbot dash nginx Let's clear the screen and let's run certbot sudo certbot dash dash nginx dash d for domain and then your domain axelai.com. We're going to have to enter the email address. That we uh, register that we use to register our domain. Hit yes for the first prompt, and you can hit no for the second. And we successfully deployed our certificate. Now, please note, Certbot usually does an excellent job adjusting the nginx configuration but it's always good to double check. So open up your nginx configuration. Let's clear the screen. sudo nano etsy nginx sites available and we'll do boxlight.com. Oops. Uh, I disconnected. Let's reconnect. And we'll try that again. And it looks like it actually updated my certificate correctly. So I'm going to close that. And we'll reload Nginx. sudo systemctl reload and an X. Now we want to check the um, we need to add an uh, index.html file so we'll do um, cd or www.paxlite.com we'll type in ls to check that directory and we can see there's nothing there so we'll do sudo nano index.html and we'll say hello world control s to save control x to exit and we'll go ahead and go there and there it is a secured website with some content so all we need to do from here forward is update that content in another video, I'll show you how to streamline this process. Control S, Control X. Let's reload the website. And there it is. Hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching.